Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen Wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyyina Muhammad Wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam Amma ba'd Our deeds are from the reasons, some of the reasons we enter paradise. And no one knows what may enter them into paradise and what deed perhaps may enter them into hellfire. And as we witness with all the sins that we see from ourselves, not just looking around. If we look around in the community, we feel we're drowning. But even within ourselves, we'll find many, many shortcomings, many, many sins. And we know our sins best after Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, who knows all things. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala knows all things. His knowledge encompasses everything, subhanahu. وَلَا يَخْفَى عَلَيْهِ شَيْءٌ فِي الْأَرْضِ وَلَا فِي السَّمَاءِ And there isn't a thing in the heavens or earth which is hidden from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And I like to reflect upon the hadith of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa alayhi wa sallam where he said or he spoke about the woman who was a prostitute and she entered paradise because of a dog and another woman she entered the hellfire because of a cat and this shows the mercy of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and it also shows that we should never give up doing good deeds, no matter how small they may seem. And that we should strive our best to never oppress someone. And as we witness now with those individuals who are oppressing their communities, who are oppressing their countrymen, who are oppressing the believers, killing them, slaughtering them, torturing them, that that will not go unnoticed by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Because Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala harrama dhulm ala nafsihi wa ala khalkihi. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has prohibited oppression upon himself. And he's prohibited for us that it's not permiss permissible for us to oppress anyone. Oppression is a wicked and major sin. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala accepts the supplication of the one, of the oppressed. So meaning that a person who is oppressed, when they supplicate to their Lord subhanahu wa ta'ala, it will be answered. And if they supplicate against you for oppressing them, perhaps that could be the cause for your destruction. And may Allah protect us from that. Ameen, Ya Rabbil Alameen. Shaykh Abdul Karim Al Khudair Hafidullah Ta'ala said in his explanation of Arba'in al Nawawi, mentioning about the hadith where the Prophet وسلم, said, Wa in ahadakum li ya'mala bi amala ahla al jenna hatta ma yukum bainahu wa bainaha ila the ra'un, for you speak wa alayha al kitab, for ya'mala bi amala ahla al nar. Wa in ahadakum li ya'mala bi amala ahla al nar hatta al ma. حتما يكون بينه وبينها إلى ذراع فيسبق عليه الكتاب فيعمل بعمل أهل الجنة فيدخلها. That the hadith of the Prophet صلى الله عليه وسلم where he said, "Verily one of you will do the deeds of the people of paradise until what is between him and paradise is just an arm span." Then what was written will overtake him. He will do the deeds of the hellfire and enter it. And then one of you will do the deeds of the hellfire, meaning their whole life they're doing evil. Until they're close, they're only an arm span length away from 
the hellfire. And then they will do the deeds of the people of paradise and enter paradise. This shows us the importance of always trying to be continuous in good deeds. And never think that you're saved. And never get comfortable with yourself in your obedience to Allah. The fact that you did a good deed, humble your nafs as the Salaf of this Ummah did, and may astaghfar. And thank Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for blessing you with the ability to do that good deed. And seek forgiveness and look at the shortcomings of what you did. But never raise yourself up. So in this hadith, the Sheikh mentioned some benefits. And one of the benefits he mentioned as an example, another hadith, the hadith we were mentioning in the beginning about the woman who was a prostitute and she entered Jannah. So let's hear briefly this brief ibarah about what the sheikh said after he spoke about it extensively. He said, Imra'atu baghiyah, dakhil al-jannah, dakhilat al-jannata fi kalb. وَإِمْرَأَةٌ دَخْلَةَ النَّارِ فِي حُرَّةِ فِي حِرَّةِ أَعْمَالْ يَسِيرَ لَكِنَّهَا عِنْدَ اللَّهِ جَلَّ وَعَلَى عَظِيمًا لِأَنَّهَا اهْتَفَى بِهَا مَا اهْتَفَى مِنْ تَعْظِيمِ اللَّهِ جَلَّ وَعَلَى أو الْإِسْتِهَانَ بِأَمْرِهِ وَأَذَى الْمَخْلُقَاتِ فمثل هذا سبب من أسباب دخول الجنة وذلك سبب من أسباب دخول النار. The Sheikh said, and he gave the example of the hadith of the Prophet ﷺ which we're talking about. He said that a woman who was a prostitute, she entered paradise due to a dog, meaning that she fed a dog. She was a prostitute. She took her shoe off. She filled her shoe with water to this thirsty dog. This dog was very thirsty. And she sacrificed something very yasir, something very small. And she she gave it water. And then another woman, she entered the hellfire due to a cat. This is because she caged the cat and didn't allow for it to hunt or anything, but kept it restrained until it starved to death. The sheikh then said, he said that these, this was a small deed. However, to Allah, the Almighty, it was great. And that's because it was related to making ta'zim Allah, making, you know, making, glorifying Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala the Almighty. And in the other situation, it was related to istihana, to, to, uh, to belittle the commands of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and cause harm to his creation. And he said, for an example like this, that is one of the reasons from amongst the reasons a person enters paradise, meaning the one who made the sacrifice, the, the prostitute who made the sacrifice and fed one of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's creation that was in need. And the other example was one of the reasons from amongst the reasons for entering the hellfire, meaning that oppression is a major sin. And it is one of the reasons people enter the hellfire. So we learn from this that sometimes a very small deed of good and being persistent can be something that might tip the scales in your favor and enter you into paradise. And sometimes something that we think is small, but to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, it's gr grievous that that can be a reason a person enters the hellfire and may Allah protect us from that wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyyina Muhammad